Hello everybody, in this video we will be solving problems 2 and 3 from chapter 2 of Baby Rudin, uh, that is Rudin's principles of mathematical analysis. Problem 2 asks to show that a complex number z, well if I have a algebraic number, uh, the set of all algebraic numbers is countable. What that means is given a complex number z, I can find a polynomial integer coefficients that has z as a root. So let's start with problem 2, what's the proof? And we're going to start by considering the set of all polynomials of degree n. So let p sub n of z be equal to the set of f of z in z bracket x. What this means is just the ring of polynomials. I should really say z bracket little z. The ring of polynomials with coefficients in z such that the degree of f of z is equal to n. Uh, alternatively, we could write this as the set of a0 plus a1z plus dot 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 plus a n z to the n such that a i is an integer for all i in between 1 and n and a sub n is not equal to 0. All right, so our claim is that Pn of z is countable. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to show that we can find an injection from P sub n of z into a count countably infinite set. So proof of claim. Consider the function phi, which maps from P sub n of z to z n plus 1. So n plus 1 tuples of z. So notice if phi of, oh sorry I didn't even tell you where elements get sent. So we'll say phi such that phi of a naught plus a 1 z plus dot 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 a n z to the n is equal to the tuple a naught a 1 through a n. So we're going to show now that phi is injective. So suppose phi of a naught plus a one z plus dot 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 a n z to the n is equal to phi of b naught plus b one z plus dot 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 b n z to the n. Well, this is if and only if the tuple a naught through a n is equal to b naught through b n. But this is if and only if a i is equal to b i for all i living in between 1 and n. And again, this is if and only if the polynomial a naught plus a 1 z plus dot 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 a n z to the n is identical to b naught plus b one z plus b n z to the n. So what this has told us is that uh, p sub n of z injects into a countably infinite set. So maybe as a note here, so phi is injective. And because phi injects into a countably infinite set, phi is at most countable. And recall, well, we know the set of integers is certainly countable. And we also know from a theorem in Rudin that taking n tuples of a countable set is countable. So z n plus 1 is countable. So now we can write, let's say, the set of polynomials with integer coefficients.
is a subset of the countable union from n equals zero to infinity of p sub n of z. So this implies that p sub n of z, or not p sub n of z, the set of polynomials with integer coefficients is countable. So set of polynomials with integer coefficients is countable. Okay, so next we're going to recall the following fact. So recall a polynomial of degree n has at most n roots. And of course, over the complex numbers, it has exactly n roots. Uh, but for this problem, we can just say uh, of degree n has at most n roots. Then the number of roots of P, or let's say any polynomial in P sub n of z is finite, which implies that we can write the number of roots of all polynomials in P sub n of z as a countable union. So maybe I'll say infinitely countable or countably infinite union of finite sets. But then recall, we can also write the set of any pol or the set of polynomials with integer coefficients as a countable union of countable sets. So we can write the number of roots of polynomials with integer coefficients as a countable union of countable sets. So we can write the number of roots. of a polynomial with integer coefficients. So let's say the number of roots, or we can write not even the number, we can write all roots of polynomials with integer coefficients. as a countably infinite union of countable sets. And notice, well, an algebraic number is a root of a polynomial with integer coefficients. So therefore, the set of algebraic numbers is countable. Now question three is asking us to prove that there exist real numbers which are not algebraic. So once we've proven two, three is quite quick. So recall R is uncountable. If every X in R or algebraic, oops, question two. So two would imply that R is countable. And that would be a contradiction. 
So therefore, there exists X in R such that X is not algebraic. And that concludes problems two and three from chapter two of Baby Rudin.